People turning south from the freeway were startled when they saw three flying saucers high over Hollywood Boulevard. I mean, UFOs have been sighted all the all the time. People have got cameras out, recording strange lights, looking at prop circles. A woman startled by the sight in the sky telephones the police. Sometimes people contact me. They've, they've seen something strange in the sky. They might think they've seen a UFO and they want to know what it is. In, in May 2006, a, a brilliant light was seen shooting across the Brisbane CBD. So I decided to investigate this phenomenon further. I thought it may be one of these uh, phenomena called a green fireball. It could be a lump of rock only the size of, say, an apple or an orange. But because it comes in the atmosphere so fast, it gets very hot. Green fireballs, when they come in, they're coming um, through the upper atmosphere and there's a layer called the ionosphere, which is a, a layer of electrified gas or plasma, which starts at 80 kilometers above the Earth and goes up several hundred um, meters. And these meteors, when they come through, can leave a trail, like a green trail in the ionosphere, like a kind of green luminous tadpole flying across the sky. And to me, it had a kind of an electrical look to it. That's the sort of avenue I was exploring. And while I was doing that, a farmer from Greenmouth sent me a letter saying that he actually saw a green ball, like a kind of a beach ball, rolling down um, the hill of the Great Divide soon after the main green fireball. And so I think what could have happened, there was a momentary electrical conduction between the ionosphere and the ground. So electric current passed down to the ground. And then as the electric current dissipated in the ground, it produced this plasma ball up above it as it dissipated. The green colour is actually thought to be due to the excitation of oxygen atoms in the atmosphere. In fact, the green is very similar to the green seen in the northern and the southern lights. In my researches, I came across a paper from the 1960s where a physicist was on a plane and actually saw ball lightning come out of the cockpit door and actually travel all the way down the aisle and go out of the back of the plane near the toilets. I think all of these objects can be explained using human psychology and unexplained atmospheric phenomena. The number of UFO sightings doubled in 1977 after the release of Spielberg's film Close Encounters of the Third Kind and that, that would seem to indicate there's definitely a, a psychological component.